As a writer, I really believe in the power of story. I think stories can change people's lives. And I think one of the things that's really amazing about stories is it can help you feel less alone. When Catherine and I first met to talk about what we were gonna do for part three, we had a bunch of lived in stories that we both brought from how long it had been since we'd last shot this. I feel like people tend to shy away sometimes from dark topics because it feels a little weird. But life has a lot of dark shit, and I am somebody who is no stranger to it. I live with complex PTSD and have gone through a lot in my life, and so darkness has actually become kind of someone comfortable for me. Sometimes the darkest stuff is also the funniest, or it can be. From the beginning, this story has always been both comedy and drama, and we wanted to continue that. So when we offered up situations the characters could be in, they weren't always happy ones. But A, that provides conflict, which is great for storytelling, and B, that makes it more real. So when we're talking about all of it, and we're talking about this movie that is really this love story, but it's also about people and relationships and life, the title alone sort of shows that it encompasses all these different things. And this beautiful thing that we got to do by growing up with our characters that we created was as our life experience shifted, we and I as a writer, we were able to put that into this story. Because this story is no longer just about the two of us, because this story is able to actually involve other people, we can expand the canvas of what is going on too. It's not just about two people, will they, won't they. It's also about what is their relationship to their parents? What are those parents going through? What are their best friends going through? Celeste has just had a child, and of course, uh, I had just had a child. But something that really did happen to me that was something I wasn't expecting in my life was that I had some major postpartum issues. And it was scary and hard. And, you know, people talk a lot about postpartum depression, but there's other things too. There's a world that a woman goes through entering into almost another universe when you become a mom. And I don't think we honor that enough in this country and in society. I think that it can be very isolating. So my character Celeste is going through a lot of postpartum depression, postpartum anxiety. For me, uh, it came about more as postpartum anxiety and then postpartum panic disorder. I had horrible insomnia, I wasn't able to sleep, and I would just have panic attacks all night long. And it was out of my control, and it was just honestly hell on earth. Going through the postpartum stuff personally, having to scramble through the really intense medical system that was near impossible to get help and leaning on people. It was also really important in the postpartum stuff that I wanted Celeste going to a therapist. Therapy changed my life. It is a cornerstone of my well-being. I really believe in it. And I wanted to create a space again in a story to just show a positive experience of somebody needing help and really finding connection and solace through a therapist. I really wanted to create a world where maybe other moms would be able to watch a story and see themselves reflected and having a baby is the most incredible, amazing gift in the world. And it's also just so intense. That's where the postpartum stuff came from. And it's not this huge component to the movie, but it is a very important part. When I think it was Catherine floated the idea of cancer for one of the parents, it was in response to her knowing what it was that I'd gone through watching my father declined very, very quickly in about two years from pancreatic cancer. And then within, I don't know, nine months of that, finding out that my wife had stage four breast cancer, like that was pretty scary, rough shit. And even though we decided that the way the story would work out best would be to have Celeste's mom be suffering it rather than my character's parent, at the same time, there's still a lot that I think my character Gary can relate to of being a witness to watching other people suffering and not knowing what to do about it. It's a devastating and exhausting situation for everyone, but including the people who are watching it happen. I kind of wanted to help tell the story of what it's like to witness that, to support that, and also to struggle with how to help when sometimes you can't. 
Part of our story covers the really shitty part of what is most people's cancer journey, which is after you have done all of the treatment and done all the things and checked all the boxes that you're supposed to do and you find out that you can't really stop it. And that happens to a lot of people with this disease. It's heartbreaking, but it's also, there's nothing any of us can do about it. So it's kind of important to tell that side of the story and what do you do when that is the case. Your life is not over yet. It's a shared grief experience for sure, but there can be light and hope. And so we kind of wanted to be one of the voices talking about how that's possible and what it's like to be in that situation. It was important to me to share different aspects of dark experiences. So it wasn't just something that Celeste is personally going through. It's also something that now a family is going through. We kind of wanted everyone to not feel alone by helping normalize it. We're not the first people to do that. It was pretty important not just to have our canvas be full by having other characters, but by having those various experiences and really just telling a story of what it is like in life when everything is going right but also wrong at the same time. Part of what happens after the Happily Ever After is all of the really difficult shit. And you each have to support each other in that relationship. And how can you be there for someone if you are also falling apart at the same time? I really wanted to see and show that connection and love and asking for help and being communicative. These are all things in the human experience that actually bring us closer together.